Today, I'm going to show you how to build your own fast food truck in Minecraft. The perfect place to grab a lovely burger and fries. And before I start the tutorial, I'd really appreciate it if you consider giving the video a like as it does help me out that little bit more. But with all that said, let's get building. Here are all the materials that you will need for this build. So first up, I've just got myself some black concrete here. And then I'm just going to place one block there to start with. And then just moving around, I'm just going to leave a gap or two and then place another black concrete just there. And then moving back to the front, I'm going to leave a gap of five and then I'm going to place one black concrete there, another gap of two and another one just there as well. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself some stone buttons. And I'm just going to place these on the outside for our wheels. And next up, I'm now going to grab myself some polished deep slate slabs here. And I come to the front first, I'm just going to place two in between these two front wheels here. And then I'm going to place another row of four just in front. And then another two just in the middle there. And I'm coming to the other side and then just going to place another two rows of four. And then after that, I'm now going to grab myself some regular stone slabs. And then firstly, I'm just going to fill in the gaps on either side here. And then I'm going to place another three on the outer ends here and then I'm just gonna connect the end up and then fill it all in so by doing this we should have the base for the truck so first up for the front drivers section so firstly I've got a block of quartz here and then starting from this block I'm gonna place four going across here and then another four just coming out and then I'm just gonna leave a gap where the wheel is and then place another two just there and let's just do that on the other side as well and the next I'm going to grab myself a deep slate stair just there. And then I'm just going to place one on top of that concrete there. And then another one on top just to there. And I'm moving back to the block of quartz. I'm going to place one on the ends here. And the next I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass panes. And then I'm just going to place three on either side. And then two in the middle for our truck's window. And the next up, I'm now going to add some wind mirrors. So for that, I'm going to get myself some light grey stained glass panes here. I'm just going to place one on each end here. And the next up, for the next layer, I'm going to move back to the block of quartz and I'm going to place another two just on the ends just there. And then next, I'm going to grab myself a quartz stair. And then I'm just going to place six kind of going all the way around just like this and then just to finish off the roof I'm gonna grab myself a quartz slab and I'm just gonna place six just on top there and then just for a bit of extra decoration at the front first thing I'm gonna grab myself some ladders let's just place two on the front just there and then I'm also gonna grab myself an item frame just got myself a nice glowing one and then I'm just gonna place one on either side which I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up with some glowstone just there and I'm also going to grab myself some oak signs I'm just going to place two just at the bottom just there so with the front of the truck complete we can now move on to the main food section so for the main bit of our truck firstly I'm going to move back to these stone slabs I'm just going to extend these points out by three blocks either side on this side and then just mirroring that on this side as well and the next up, I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete. And then starting from this point, I'm going to place two. And then I'm just going to place another six going all the way along to the end there. So just going to repeat that on the other side. And then moving to the back, I'm just going to place one more on each side just here. And I'm moving back to the front. First thing, I'm just going to place another four just on each side just here. And then after that, I'm now going to grab myself some stripped oak wood just there. And then I'm just going to place two of these on either side. And that's where our menu boards will go later on. And then if I just move to the back, moving back to the grey concrete, I'm just going to extend this whole wall up so it's three blocks high in total. And then with some more grey concrete, I'm just going to build a whole nother loop. Just going all the way around. Just to top off this wall here. 
And then once that's done, I'm just going to fill in the top here as well. And the next up for some extra details. So firstly, if I just got myself some black stained glass panes here. Firstly, for this front bit, I'm just going to place one pane on either side just there. And then after this, I'm now going to add some doors into this truck as well. So firstly, just coming up to this end here, I'm just going to place two black stained glass on either side just there. And then I'm now going to grab myself some deep slate tile walls just here. I'm just going to place one in the middle there for a door handle. And then I'm also going to do the same door design on this side as well. And the next up, I'm now going to add a little canopy here. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some iron trap doors. And firstly, I'm just going to place three just in the window there. And then I'm just going to place three coming out. And then on top of that, I'm going to get some white carpet. And I'm just going to place three of these just there. And then for some extra detail, with some more iron trap doors, moving to the back of the van, I'm just going to place two iron trap doors just there. And I'm also going to grab some more glowing item frames. I'm just going to place one on either side just there. And then I'm just going to fill them up with some block of redstone. And then I'm also going to grab myself an oak sign. I'm just going to place one on either side the trap door just there. Oh, and I just realized for the front of the truck, I'm also going to add two trap doors just on top there as well. So next up, I'm now going to add a burger and chips model just on top of our truck here. So for this, firstly, I've got myself some stripped oak wood. Firstly, from this point, I'm just going to count across four blocks and go up one and just place one stripped oak just there. And then after that, I'm just going to place one more next to it. And then just moving around, I'm going to place another two. And then moving around again, another two. Moving around, and then another two just there. And I'm also just going to fill this in as well. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself some oak slabs. I'm just going to place these in each corner just there. And the next four art burger patty, I'm now going to grab myself some brown terracotta. And firstly, I'm just going to place four in the middle there. And then two just coming out either side. And the next up, moving back to the stripped oak wood. I'm just going to place another four in the middle there and then another two coming out each side and then moving back to the oak slabs i'm going to place one in each corner and then i'm also going to place four just on the top just there and after that for some sesame seeds i'm going to grab myself some spruce buttons i'm just going to place two just up there and then one there and the next up i'm now going to grab myself a mangrove stair and i'm just going to place one just there to make it look like there's ketchup in the burger. And then just moving around, I'm going to place another one just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some yellow carpet. I'm just going to place some yellow carpet in between these other corners there as well. Just to make it look like there's some cheese in the burger as well. And next up, I'm also going to add some fries to this. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some yellow wool and some yellow concrete. And then firstly, for our first fry, I'm just going to place two yellow wool just there and then just moving around moving to the yellow concrete i'm then going to place two just there and then moving back to the yellow wall i'm then going to place another two just alongside it just there and then just moving to the back i'm also going to add another two yellow wall just there as well and by doing that that'll give us a nice cool burger and fries statue for our van here so next up i'm now going to show you how to create some food banners for our truck here so firstly with a loom i'm just going to place that down so first up for our french fry banner so firstly for this i'm going to place one black banner in there followed by some yellow dye and i'm just going to choose this stripy pattern just there so let's grab that and the next up i'm now going to add some white dye in there and i'm just going to use this kind of bottom half one there then we'll grab that and the next up with some black dye place one of them in there for this i'm going to use the triangle pattern just here and then just to finish that off with some more black dye, I'm going to use the border just here to border that off. And then by doing this, that will give us a cool fries banner, which we can place on the right hand side just there. So next up for our burger banner. So for this, I'm going to start off with a yellow banner this time. And then firstly, I'm going to add some brown dye. I'm just going to add this middle stripe first to begin with. 
And the next up, I'm going to add some orange dye. And I'm going to do the top rectangle there. And I'm also going to add the bottom rectangle there as well. And the next up, I'm going to add some black dye there. And firstly, I'm going to add myself this kind of fancy black border going all the way around just there. Let's grab that. And then finally, to finish it off, I'm then going to add a straight black border there as well. And by doing that, that will give us a cool cheeseburger banner, which you can place on the other side just there. So with the exterior complete, we can now move on to the interior. So first up for the driver's section here. So for this, I'm going to grab myself a lever to begin with. And I'm just going to place one just there for some sort of gear stick. And the next up for a steering wheel, I like to use a grindstone. And I'm just going to place one just there. And then for a chair, I'm just going to grab myself a smooth stone slab. I'm just going to place one just there. And then behind that, I'm then going to add an iron door. And then I'm just going to grab myself a, another black banner. And I'm just going to place that in front just there. And then finally, I'm just going to grab myself some stone buttons. And I'm just going to place two at the top just there for some more controls. So with this done, we can now move on to the main kitchen area. So firstly, for this, I'm firstly going to grab myself some pistons. And then firstly, I'm just going to place three on the right hand side just there and then another three just on the other side and that'll give us a nice bridge design and the next up i'm gonna grab myself an iron block and i'm just gonna place one in the middle just there and the next stop for a fire design so for this first i'm just gonna destroy this block just here and then i'm gonna grab myself an armor stand and i'm just gonna place this in the gap just there and then I'm also going to grab myself a chainmail helmet. I'm just going to place that on top of the armor stand just there. And after that, I'm then going to grab myself a cauldron. I'm just going to place that on top. And with that, I'm also going to need myself a piston and a block of redstone. So I'm just going to place one piston on top just there. And then with a block of redstone, I'm just going to power the piston just there which will push the cauldron down. Make sure you place the block of redstone on the left-hand side, because if you place it on there, you're going to shift this whole row of blocks, and we don't want that. So make sure you do it on this side. And after that, we can just destroy this piston. And then moving back to the block of iron, I'm then going to place a, another block just on the left-hand side there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a stone brick stair. And I'm just going to place one on top of our fire just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a oak sign. I'm just going to place that in front of the cauldron. And then for a little chopping board, I'm going to grab myself an oak pressure plate and place that on the end just there. Don't place it here because, again, it will activate the piston and bad things will happen. And the next up, moving on to the other side. And first up, I'm going to show you how to make a cool grill design. But firstly, before that, I'm just going to add one block of iron just there with an oak pressure plate just on top. And then for the grill, I'm actually going to use a campfire for this. And I'm just going to place that there. And luckily, they don't spread fire, so this is perfectly safe. And then next, I'm going to grab myself an oak sign. I'm just going to place that just in front of it, just there. And then next to it, I'm then just going to add another three blocks of iron. And then on top, I'm then going to grab myself a iron jack door. And I'm just going to place one of these on top, just there. And as you can see, by doing this, it creates a cool little kind of grill section. And then just moving to the end here, I'm then going to grab myself a stone brick stair and place one on the end for some sort of till. And then our van is nearly complete, but it wouldn't be complete without some custom heads. For this, I've got myself a fries and a burger custom head here. And if you don't know how to get these custom heads, I will show you now. So if you head over to minecraftheads.com, there are loads of custom heads to choose from. So you just type in what you're searching for. And as you can see, there will be loads of heads you can choose from here. And if you choose your one and then copy one of the commands for the correct version, paste it in a command block and that will give you your head. Happy days. So firstly, with the fries head, I think I'm just going to add one lovely portion of fries just there. And then I might also add a burger just here as well. And as you can see, when you come to the front, you can kind of see them in the front, which I think looks quite nice. And for those playing on bedrock, you can't access these custom heads, which I know sucks. But what you can do, if I was to show you these, what you can do instead, we just get two item frames. We can just place kind of two just there. And then what you can do, if I grab a stake, you can fill one with a stake just there. And you can also fill another one with a 
baked potato there. And here we are. That is our burger van all complete. I really love the campfire as well. I love how it just adds like a smoke effect. I think that looks quite nice. But yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. And as always, if you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button. That would really help me out and I'd appreciate that. And also, if you want to hang with me, my Discord link is in the description. But yeah, so thanks for watching and have a good day.